Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to another movie review. I know. I know I'm lacking. I'm lacking. Okay? Sorry. Anyways, back to the moment at hand. I've been shoving wrestling into the channel, vlogs, been kind of not putting movie reviews. Well, I've got one today, and boy, is it a great movie. And I know some of you guys out there that probably watch this movie, this movie, this video, is going to say, how long did it take you to review this? Why did it take you so long to review this? Well, here's why. I kept hearing about this movie and how disturbing it was. They're like, oh, it's disturbing. Ooh. And I kept, I started to watch it and I'm like, okay, I get why they think it's disturbing. I don't want to watch it right now. I started watching it. <clears throat> a couple times I started watching it. And the other day I started watching it and then um, stopped it after a small part. Because I knew I was going to get to the good part. And I'm like, well, I'll stop it now since I've seen this part that I know is not really instrumental to the story. And I'll start watching it when it gets better. So I did that. Ladies and gentlemen, I watched The Human Centipede first sequence um first of all i would like to say was it really shocking to me not really sure why people think it's shocking i understand why but there really wasn't much in it to be honest um so my opinion, so if anybody doesn't know what this movie is about, let me just kind of lay it on the table. So basically, and I'm going to tell you in a nutshell, so you can choose whether you want to watch this movie or you don't want to watch this movie. And some people may say, ooh, well, how much do they show? They don't show much. They don't show much at all. They don't show things coming down from the mouth. And see, this doesn't make any sense right now, but when I tell you what the movie is about, it will make sense. They don't really show things, people, things coming from the mouth, really. They don't really show that. Like, I think at some point, they may kind of just go close up and then back up. They don't really show that much. They don't really show it at all. Um, I'll, I'll explain that in a second. But what this movie is, basically, is this guy. And once again, I think it's German. Or maybe that's why I thought it was German. I don't remember. <clears throat> but I think this is maybe only German as well. But anyways. Um... It, it, and I'm, I'm not really, like, ramming French and German. I just don't know the difference between the two. So it's a foreign film. I just know this. And it's, and subtitles. But it's done really well. This is one of those movies where the speaking doesn't really matter, but they have subtitles so you understand what they're saying. And the characters are so good in the movies that it doesn't matter. And that's what's good about some foreign films that have great characters and have great stories that it doesn't matter what language it's in. And that's awesome. That is super awesome that there's a lot of... Uh, foreign directors that are coming out with good movies that people are going to get into, and this is one of them. Um, <clears throat> but basically, this guy wants to create a human centipede, which means that the digestive tract would have to go through all the people. So <clears throat> basically, he would sew their mouth onto the anus of the person in front of them. You can think about the problems with that. And some of the people out there may say, well, isn't it going to show stuff coming out the sides of the mouth? Like I said, not really. I don't think. But also, you have to think about when I say that, they have to cut parts of the mouth to make that work. And in the film, you see that on the people, there are cuts on their mouths. And that's all I'm going to say because about that. Because you'll see the struggles of the people being put in a situation forcefully, not by choice, um, and them struggling with what this guy is doing to them. This guy is insane. This guy is doing this stuff. What is he doing to me? And they wake up in this situation. Um, and it's crazy. And it's... I want to say that it's shocking in that regard that this guy would do that to these people. But the the flip side of this 
is that people talked like it was so disturbing that, I don't know if it's a disturbing image, but it was more of a disturbing, um, what's so disturbing about it? What am I trying to say? It, it's, it's the things that happen in the context of the movies. My legs, okay. Um, my legs are hurting. Anyway, um, but it's the, what am I trying to say here? <sighs> Yawn again. I can't stop yawning sometimes. It's freaking one o'clock in the afternoon. Anyway, why am I yawning? My body just doesn't want to cooperate. It just wants to do everything what it wants to do, except for what I want it to do. Anyway, um, but the movie, is, it wasn't that shocking to me. I thought it was a decent movie. It was well played out. The movie was well played out. At the end, it kind of happened really fast. And things happened. Um... I'm not sure if I like the ending too well. I, I think it could have ended in a way to where they could have made a sequel easier. That's all I'll say. Um, yeah. Because the guy was super smart. The guy, the, the bad guy, he was super smart and everything like that. And uh, that's all I'm going to say. Definitely a movie worth watching. I would recommend this movie. And if you think, oh, well, I heard what it's about. Or if the human centipede just makes you go, mm, no. Maybe it's not for you. But I don't think it's really that disturbing, in my opinion. It's just interesting. That's all. It's creepy that this guy would do this to people. That's all there is. I haven't seen the other ones. For some reason, Netflix took off number two. It was on there. It was just on there. Like, I don't know why they took it off. They just took off the human centipede number two. So, I don't know if I really want to skip to number three. I don't know if there's any, um, if I have to watch that, if you have to watch the second one. I know it's about, and I kinda, I'll probably just find it somewhere online and watch it, um, just so I can see it. Um, but I, I do want to watch a whole series. I'll be reviewing that as well, and telling you how disturbing they really are. Because now that I've seen the first one, I noticed that it was, really wasn't that disturbing. Um, I'm going to watch them. Anyways, um... But, and, and on the premise of disturbing movies and such like that, I did a disturbing movie called Darling, an older review that's probably super crappy to watch, because it was probably on my camcorder, I think. Um, I may want to revisit um, at some point, because I think I fell asleep a little bit during it, but I got the gist of what the movie was about um, by watching it, and I, I do not do that anymore. I, I try to watch the entire movie. And if I fall asleep, I try to rewind it back to where I fell asleep to where I remember watching it. So I get the full review. But that movie, if you haven't seen it, I don't know if it's on Netflix anymore, but um, it's probably not. And that's the cool thing about doing these videos. I say see it on Netflix. They may not be on there anymore, but they probably will be back. If they're on Netflix one time, they'll probably be back there at a future time. Um, but Darling was a kind of a creepy movie. And there really wasn't much audio. I remember that movie. So if you haven't seen that, go check out that review and to learn about what that's about. Um, and check it out online. It's kind of a creepy movie. It's Like I said, there's little audio to it. It's basically all video. And that's it. There's audio, but there's nothing going on, really, <laughs> you know, to tell the story. You just have to watch what's going on. And it's kind of weird and creepy. Um, um, but yeah, that's kind of where this kind of lies in there. Same kind of movie, so... Those disturbing movies are not that bad. Visually, they're creepy. And that does enough for me to creep me out. When it comes to gore, I'm not a gore person. So if you're wondering why I'm not reviewing like some things, like and, and they wouldn't be on Netflix anyway. But like Cannibal Holocaust and things like that. I know what those are. I know what they are. I'm not going to watch them. Not going to. Not going to at all. I'm not that gore type of person. I couldn't last through the scenes. It's not that I can't handle them. I just don't think they're necessary. They are unnecessary in a movie. And that's why I just find it that they're way over the top. Like, you don't need to do that. You're not trying to make a movie. You're trying to gross people out. That's, that's just my opinion on that. Some people may like it. That's fine. Whatever. Some people like movies like that. Some people, some people don't. I just don't feel that it's necessary to gross people out. If you have a story, then you have a story. If you don't have a story, I guess try and gross people out. That's your story. That's the whole point of your movie. I guess. I don't know. I mean, what would, what would be the other story? 
you had this in the middle, but then if you had that in the middle of your movie, that's what everybody's going to be talking about. They're not going to be talking about the story. So there's no point in having a story. So if you added a story to a movie like that, I don't know what to tell you. Anyways, um, yeah. Human Centipede, first sequence. Would I recommend watching this movie? Like I said, if Human Centipede, basically just saying the word, doesn't disturb you, you know what's going to be in the movie. You, I mean, you kind of know what's going to be in the movie. If that doesn't disturb you, check it out. It's not that disturbing. They show um, him kind of doing the surgery a little bit, but not to, like, the full detail, like, open the butthole. No, that, they, don't, <laughs> they don't do that. They don't show that. All they do is, like, show him cutting the pieces off the mouth, and then and the next scene they cut to is they're all attached. That's all they show. That's all they show in the movie. That's the whole disturbing feature of the movie. That's it. That's it. And there's things that he says that are like, whoa, why did he say that? That's it. That's it. Visually. It's all in your head. It's all in your head. And that's that's what a good horror movie is. It makes you think. Alfred Hitchcock, one of the greatest horror minds of all time, or, or psychological thriller people of all time. There you go. That's what he did. He made people think. And things that were inside your head, he made you think about. And, you know, Stephen King is up there, too. But so he put it all on the camera. Um, <laughs> and book. So, um, he made you think about it. And now he made them in the movies. But anyways, there you go. That's my review of The Human Centipede, the first sequence. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, like I said, I'm going to try and review the second one soon. Um, but I'm going to start reviewing... Um, a lot of different movies on Netflix. I, I keep having this problem with wanting to pick out movies. That's a problem. So I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm kind of just going to go, okay, what's your recommendation? Boom. Click on it and go on Netflix. Because I think I just need to start doing that. Because then it will give me more of an outlet to want to watch different kind of things. And I do watch tons of different things. So I wish it would tell me check out different things, but it wants to tell me to check out, like, the newest things coming out, and I'm like, I don't want to see that, first of all, it looks like it sucks, I don't want to watch that, I want to watch the B-movies, I want to watch things like that, that are going to be, get me intrigued to want to watch them, there's a lot of horror movies I want to watch, there's a lot of dramas I want to watch, instead of what I watched last night, which I'm getting ready to do the review on that, holy crap, it was not what I expected, it made me, my, my mind, I think, what, when I watched it. I'll talk about that in a second when I make that video. Human Centipede, first sequence. Have you seen it? If you have seen it, comment down below. If you haven't, go check it out. Come back here. Tell me what you think down below. Were you disturbed? Didn't really disturb me. Overrated as a disturbing film, I would say. As a disturbing film. Now, I agree with it. It's a film. Great film. Awesome film. I love the film. Great movie. Um, but if you like a good disturbing movie, this is one to check out. But like I said, a little lacking on the disturbing part. Really overrated in terms of people saying it's disturbing. Um, not really that disturbing. Good movie, though. Well done. Great actors. Because um, some of the actors, they don't really have much of a choice to do anything. All I could do is do certain things. So what they did, really good. So all the actors were really good, except for the cops at the end. We won't go into that. That's all I'm saying. They weren't very good actors. But anyways, like, comment, subscribe, and share. I keep forgetting that part. Share on social media. Uh, let me know what you think about everything going on on the channel. Check out some other videos if you're interested. And as well, subscribe. And, and, as always, keep rocking and keep on watching movies. Later, guys.